Welcome back to Houston Life. Does your partner snore or do you? Well, snoring can not only affect your relationship, it can also affect your health. But do not file for a sleep divorce just yet, okay? It could be something more serious like sleep apnea. So that's why today we have joining us Dr. J. Carrie Moorhead, who is a sleep medicine specialist with Memorial Hermann. Thank you so much for joining us because one, we all sleep. And, Correct. <laughs> and sleep apnea is something that often goes undiagnosed because how would you know you have it unless maybe someone told you, hey, you snore, and if you did, how would you know? So this is something that affects everyone. You're right. It's a very common problem. Yeah. Talk about, um, so the process of sleep apnea, what actually is happening in the body? Because a lot of people snore, but sleep apnea is actually the cessation of breathing. It's right. when people stop breathing in their sleep. Yeah. Correct. Well, so with snoring, what's happening is some of the tissue in the back of the nose and the back of the tongue is collapsing against the back of the throat to the point where it starts to vibrate together and make that noise. And sleep apnea is when that just goes a little further to the point where those tissues completely obstruct the airway and then uh, you can't pull air through there. So it's kind of on a spectrum. Snoring is on the more mild end and sleep apnea is when it completely obstructs. And that's kind of scary because there's a moment in there, I feel like, where you're not breathing at all. So are there, what, is there good news for this? Because you wouldn't be here if we didn't have a solution to this problem, right? Yeah, so you know the, the problem with sleep apnea is it does lead to a lot of other health issues. I see. Um, problems with blood pressure, heart arrhythmias, increased risk of heart attack and stroke. So it's important to diagnose it um, if somebody has a suspicion that they might have it. But we do have a lot of different ways of treating it now and testing for it. And so, uh, yeah, a lot of good things uh, around the corner. And Dr. Moorhead, a lot of, um, a lot of folks, things have come a long way because people have talked about sleep studies. Like, oh, if you have sleep apnea or you think you do or your, your spouse, you should go and do a sleep study. That's a big commitment. A lot of people Absolutely. aren't going to take that step to go in and do a sleep study. The good news is now you can diagnose it using one of these small devices you brought with us today. You're right, Derek. So a lot of patients, that's the barrier to come in because they've heard what a sleep study involves and they have to go to a strange place and wear wires in their hair and have people watching them all night. Yeah. And so they don't want to come in or maybe they had one 10 years ago, that's what they remember. But the technology has really come to the rescue on this. And so uh, we have devices now like this. It's something called a watch pad. So when a patient comes to my office and we need to do a sleep study, they're usually very excited when I show them this. And it's something that they can take home with them that day. Uh, they basically just put it on their finger. They wear it on their wrist like a watch. And then they wear it overnight in their own bed. And then wow. in the morning, this downloads to an app on their phone. The report comes to us through the cloud and we get back together a week later and go over the results. That convenience is just it's so incredible. much. It's <laughs> incredible. Yeah, that's and so much more convenient. Like, I wouldn't want to do a sleep study with people watching me. What if I do something weird in my sleep, right? This, this is I a would great do this. It's a I great way to go. tonight. And the good news also, <laughs> more good news, is that there are non-surgical and surgical options yeah. available. So can you walk us through that? You're right. So if a patient winds up being diagnosed with sleep apnea, I always tell them there are surgical, non-surgical approaches. We usually start with non-surgical, okay? So the gold standard for sleep apnea treatment is still CPAP, okay? So that's the mask right. that everyone kind of has heard about or has friends or relatives uh, that are using it. And it is still considered kind of the gold standard. It's very effective at uh, eliminating sleep apnea. And uh, the problem with it is that there's a large percentage of patients that just can't tolerate it. Right. So it's very, uh, very effective, but a lot of patients will give up on it. They'll find that maybe they are claustrophobic yeah. or it doesn't, uh, they can't sleep very well with it. And so they often are coming to me looking for alternatives to their CPAP. Um, another uh, option that we have that's non-surgical is a dental appliance. And those are things that are designed to try to bring the jaw forward, kind of opening the airway that way. And so there are dentists that make these types of devices and they can be effective for more mild types of sleep apnea.
Okay, and then lastly, because we're really tight on options. time, yeah. you have something you what brought with us. People freak out about surgery, but now there can be a device implanted under the skin. Right, so this is kind of what all the buzz is right now, and this is what's really uh, bringing patients into my office, and it's called the Inspire Implant. And so this is something that's actually like a pacemaker. Um, we implant it underneath the skin. It has a little lead that comes up and attaches to a nerve on the tongue. And then at night, when patients go to bed, or people go to bed, uh, instead of putting on a mask, they turn it on with a little remote control. Wow. And then this, during the night, is sending a signal to the muscles of the throat to open the airway so it doesn't collapse. And so we consider this um, the best surgical alternative to patients that have tried CPAP or other methods and have failed and are looking for a surgical treatment. And that's a minimal surgical procedure that can be life-changing. It's an outpatient people. surgery. Outpatient. Yeah. All right, Dr. J. Carey Moorhead, thank you so much for stopping by. You're welcome. Thanks for having Come me. Come a long way, haven't we? If you'd like sure to have. learn more about sleep apnea, you can visit memorialherman.org slash sleep, or you can give them a call, 713-222-2272. 